Hello and welcome to a new video about measurement. This time again from my lab, because this time I made some, some try. Yeah? I want to show you the Coriolis effect. Yeah? I'm not sure if I can manage, but I will try. Okay? So, I show you now what I'm going to do. This here is my lab. Yeah? As you've seen it in previous videos, my lab at school. What we've got here actually are some quite heavy duty bumps. Okay, so there are a bump, there is a bump, and there is a bump. We will use the back bump here. Uh, this bump will produce flow. Okay, with this flow, we are going in here, here, and then up here. All right. This is usually for emptying, but I will use this hose. Huh? Not sure if you can see this hose. It is going out the window here and coming back there. All right, coming back there. And here, this is then the viewpoint. You see, there is my little camera. And this is the viewpoint of, of uh, the swing. Yeah? This thing here, this is the thing I want to have swinging here. Yeah? One time with flow and one time without flow. Okay, first time without flow. All right. And second time we will do it with flow. And then I hope we can see a difference in how this is swinging. I hope. Yeah? What is happening with the water? The water will rush in here. Here is my nice Belton turbine. Also a nice thing to, to watch and see. Uh, come back here and here we will go down back to the to the reservoir to the water reservoir all right so that actually what I plan to do huh? let's start the recording here recording started okay I want to have pressure. I want to have pressure inside my tube here, in my, inside, the tube, inside the hose, because um, the, it is filled with water. I will start now the pump. We're here immediately. Yeah, the pump, the pump working. This is because you hear an, an inverter. It's an inverter motor. So I can select the speed of the pump here. And I will go up to 28. Maybe 30. We should see the hose filling. Go back there. Here we are. All right, is the hose filled? Yes, it's filled. It's filled. It's filled with, with water. But there's no flow because I simply closed this. I simply cut it off here. Cut it off. All right, so actually what I'm going to do is that I am hitting this, uh, producing some sort of swing. And, well, I'm recording this with the camera over there. Okay, so I'm going to hit this. This will be our reference shot, all right? So let's see. Maybe from a little bit further away. All right, so this was with no flow. Huh? And then now I will open this, this valve over there. All right, so here it's open now, okay? And we have some flow rushing through. We can see it down there. You see, I hope this is, you are able to see. It. It's, not, it's not much flow. So we'll do a second shot now, second time. I will push this and see if there is already some kind of difference.
Okay, so what we do now is that we have a look at the original in yellowish and the new one in bluish. So bluish is the one with flow. And here now the overlapping in slow motion. Uh, the blue one is the one with flow and the yellow one is the one without flow. And what do we see here in this slow motion? Well, we see nothing. Right? Both are equally. There is no band, nothing. It does not seem like this little flow would have an effect. So, well, this was nothing. So we'll need to try something else. I will not expect to be this much different. However, I will now increase the flow by increasing the speed of the turbine yeah, so that we have more flow. I tried this in the previous video, in an old video with a, a garden hose in my backyard. Uh, but this was for sure, there I've seen nothing. Yeah? So I tried now with more power. Let's try 50% of power. Ah, we here already. Ooh, yeah. There's already much, much more flow. How does it look now? Yeah. Much more flow. Let's see if this is behaving now different. Hopefully. Okay. Okay, now let's compare those two shots. Again, the original shot in this yellowish color and the new shot with the higher flow now in blue. And let's now compare those two variants in slow motion again. And what do we see now? Mm, right now nothing. And ah, now we see a difference between the blue and the orange line. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we see the first swing a little bit different. This is, this is exactly the, the behavior, the, 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 the Coriolis effect I wanted to show you. Um, let's have a look even in more slow motion at the first few frames. And here, yeah, here we can see the blue line is more snakier. Yeah, so it's more bendier than the orange line. So this is exactly this Coriolis effect which is causing this. It's, it's not in, swinging not in parallel. Huh? It's a different curve. Yeah, we have a phase shift. So actually, this worked. Great. Honestly, I've not seen any difference. Uh, I will try maybe a little bit more, a little bit more, huh? a little bit more. And I hope nothing will happen. Okay, this was too much. Yeah, I hope, I hope indeed, we will see something. Huh? We will see something if this was working or not. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I will overlap this in with with my with my editing program. I will overlap those two shots, and well, we will see. We will see. Worst thing that is happening is that you've seen my lab. All right, that would be the worst thing. Meh. Our worst things in life. Huh? If you are more interested in this, huh? come and visit. 
Come and visit me at my school. <laughs> for this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.